Went to the good old lovely game exchange today. Uh, and I bought Gyromite. But why would I buy Gyromite? Is it really that fun? No, it's not really that fun. I don't think so. In fact, I think I already have a copy of it. I might have two copies of it. Somewhere. I've even got to rob the robot, and I haven't even barely touched these things. So why would I want another copy? Well, a lot of people know, but I'm sure a lot of people don't know, that uh, some Nintendo games, NES games, have a converter in them that allows you to play your Famicom games on your NES. Um, Famicom being the Japanese, I guess you could call it Japanese version of the NES, but more the NES is a ja an American version or a Western version of the Famicom. Um, and Famicom games do not fit in your NES. Not only are they a lot shorter, but the pinout is completely different. It's a lot skinnier and a different number of pins. But there are um, a very small selection of NES games that have a possibility of having a converter in them. And basically what happened is actually I don't know exactly why what happened. I'm sure I've read it before but um, I don't know if they ran out of PCB boards or they had a bunch of extra ones lying around or some sort of cost saving measurement that decide, made them decide that they wanted to make a little pin converter instead of actually making new PC boards for uh, strictly for their NES games. So some of these early NES games, especially the ones with this type of label, this like Excite Bike or Duck Hunt or you know things like that, uh, the older versions of those have five screws on the back instead of just two. The newer, uh, most NES games have two screws, I believe, at the bottom, and then they have clips at the top, little plastic tabs, to keep the top closed. Um, so it's easy to find these if they're all sitting on end, because they won't have the little clips. And I wish I would have been smart enough to grab another NES game to show you the difference, but I didn't, and I think all my NES games are boxed up right now. Nope. Nothing in there. Anyway. So, I bought this. And I paid six bucks for it. And I knew, when I bought it, that it had a converter in that. And how did I know that? Well, I'll show you how I knew that. Um, some people say uh, the label's a little different. And they're like, oh, this is the little Rob the Robot thing is darker. By the way, Gyromite is a relatively common game to have this in there. But by all means, it's not common to find a converter. Gyromite seems to be uh, a better chance, I guess. But don't go buying a bunch of Gyromites just trying to find a converter, because chances are you're not going to find one unless you actually know what you're looking for. Um, some people say if you, let's say, put the game on the edge of a table and find the spot where it falls, and then mark that spot. So like this one this one fell over right where my fingernail is there. And then you do it with another one that uh, you know does not have a converter, 100% know that it does not. Still with the same plastic, of course. Uh, that the weight will be different on this, it'll be heavier, and it'll be off balance, or balanced differently. But the end all be all. Well, first off, obviously you need the five screws. I got lucky, I guess and this has a converter in it. But the end-all be-all is the shape of the contacts. So let me zoom in and show you that. If you look at these lovely little dirty ass contacts, get the light better, you will notice there is a little extra piece of contact right here on the edge where the corner of my screwdriver is. Now on five screw cartridges that have the converter in them, it seems that 100% of these five, five screw cartridges with the converter will have this tab on the side. See, it's on the side of the contact. And if it has it in the center, literally right down the center, if that little tab is right there, 
that will not have it in there. And probably 90 some percent, a very, very high percent of the five screw cartridges that you look at are going to have it in the center and therefore not have the converter. So, when you're looking for one of these converters, definitely look at the pins. You know, after you've looked down the, uh, looked down the rows and picked out all the ones with the, without the tabs on the end, with the five screws, of course, look at those tabs. Not the tabs, look at those, uh, uh, contacts. So, what does this mean, of course? This means I can play NES or Famicom games on my NES. Unfortunately, I've got a Famicom, so I don't really need this cartridge converter thing. Um, so I will probably just sell it because they do go for a little bit of money. It's just simply because they're rare and they're useful. Um, I'm sure I will put a link in the description that shows a little bit more uh, information about this, I believe. Probably not more information, but... Well, not necessarily more useful information, but more information in general. But So, look for games, look at the pins, maybe you'll find a converter. Um, some people, actually, this is going to be blurry since I'm still in macro, will cut their cartridge uh, right along here, and then basically they can just plug their Famicom games into this little part of a cartridge. It makes it really easy to stick them in and out and get them out of your NES and things like that, so keep that in mind if you're wanting a little project to do. But anyway, I don't know how to end this video other than reiterating five screws. One, two, three, four, five. No tabs on the end of the cartridge plastic. Generally, an old game is going to have these qualities, such as Gyromite. Um, Excite Bike might have it. Duck Hunt might have it. Um, Hogan's Alley might have it. I, I don't know how many of those actually have been confirmed. And then, of course, once you've narrowed all those down, look at the contacts and look for that. It's kind of hard to see looking through the end of a cartridge, but you can see them. It's pretty obvious. Um, maybe you might even look this uh, cartridge, the PC board is white here. I don't know if that makes a difference, but I don't know. Good luck. Hopefully you guys can find these as well, and let me know if you do.